Hey everybody, today I want to show you a new package that I've been working on called Inertia Forms. And it has a bunch of form components as well as a backend form builder. And it has an extended version of the use form method that you know from the Inertia library. So let's dive right into it. Here I've got a demo application where I'm just having one form, one simple form to create a new user. And when I hit submit, you can see the validation errors. And when I fill in some dummy data and I hit submit, then I'm simply dumping out the requested data. So let's check out the controller. Here's the create method, where, where I'm simply returning the inertia page. And in the store method, I'm validating the incoming data and then I'm dumping it. So let's go to the view page, to the create inertia page. Here you can see that form with the name, the email, uh, the checkbox for the terms, and here's the submit button. So what I wanna do first, is replace all of this with form components, which can simplify this template quite a lot. So in the script setup block, I've already imported these components, text input, checkbox, and button. And here you can also see that use form uh, method from the inertia library where I'm setting some defaults and a simple submit function to post the form to that user page, uh, to that user controller. So let's see, let's replace the first one. I'm going to use a text input. I'm going to reuse that V model. Then I'm going to set a label of name and I'm going to bind the errors with this error prop. So errors equal form.errors.name. And then I'm going to duplicate it for the email address. And here I'm setting the type to email. Then I'm using a checkbox component. Uh, again, v model equals form.terms, and let's also bind the error, form.errors.terms. Yes, let's grab the text for the checkbox. That's this one. Let's paste it in here. Then we can remove all of this stuff. And finally, I'm replacing the button with the one from the inertia forms library and Let's get rid of this. All right, save. Let's check out the new form. So here we have the same fields. Let's check out if validation still works. Yeah, that's still fine. Let's submit it. Yeah, everything still works. So what I wanna do next is take it one step further and see if we can clean it up even further. What you see here in this template that we still have a lot of repetition. So for each V model, we need this form object. And for each error, we need this form.errors object. So what I'm gonna do is bind the form, this one, to our uh, form component, which we haven't used yet. It's this one. So I'm gonna replace the default HTML form with this form component. I'm gonna bind the form to the form prop like this. And when it, this is the same, uh, in recent versions of you, you can just you do this. That's the same. Um, Submit.prevent, I'm gonna remove the modifier. So just submit. And then I'm gonna replace V model just with name, just like regular forms. We don't need form and we don't need the error prop anymore. So let's remove that. Let's hit save and go back to the browser. Let's refresh. Hit submit, validation still works. Let's fill in some dummy data and that all still works. So that's great, a lot of cleanup. Let's see if we can take it even a step further. What I wanna do next is replace the use form from the inertia library with the use form from the inertia forms library. So I'm gonna remove this import. And what we can do then is add another object with options. And here we can set the URL in this case to user. Uh, we can also set the method, which defaults to post, but you can also change it to put or delete or whatever you need. Then I can remove the submit method. And I'm also gonna remove the event and the event handler. So just like this, let's hit save and let's try it again. Yes, everything still works. And also, in this, uh, in this version of use form, you don't need to set any defaults. So you can just re replace this with an empty object and that should still work. Yeah, that's fine. 
Now, the form components has some uh, cool features built in, like precognition. So we can use that here. For example, in the text input, I'm going to add the precognitive prop. Let's hit save. And then when you start typing, and you go to the next field, you can see that the validation works. So it validates before you submit the form. So that's really cool. Now let's move the form to the backend because this component library also has a backend form builder and that's really great too. So let's see what we can do there. Um, I actually already created this create user form and you can do that with an artisan command just like you're creating a controller for Laravel or a form request in Laravel. This package also comes with a create form artisan command. So here you can specify uh, the action route. Of course, you can also specify the method and a bunch of other options, but this is just a simple example. And here you can specify the fields within this array. So here we have that text input for the name. Uh, we make it required. Uh, also here, precognitive. You can add validation rules. Here we have just one, but of course with an array, you can set multiple. Uh, you can set the type of the text input. Uh, here we have the checkbox, which needs to be accepted. And here we have our submit button. And of course, all of these components uh, can be customized. And yeah, this is really extensive. So you can build really complex forms. Um, let's go to the controller and use this form. So here in the create method, I'm going to accept this as a property. And I'm calling it form. Let's import it. And I'm simply, simply passing that form as an inertia prop. So let's accept it in our inertia page. Props equals defined props. And we're only accepting the form. And then we can replace all of this stuff just with props.form. Then we can remove our custom form components and just use the form element like this. So we're still binding the form and setting some classes. That's all that need that's needed. So Let's uh, refresh and still see if it works. So yeah, here you can see the form elements. So we still have name, uh, email address, and the terms. Uh, let's see if precognition still works. Yeah, still fine. Um, let's see if backend validation still works. Yeah, that also works. Let's submit it with some valid data. So that's really cool. But we can even use that form object to validate the form itself. So let's go back to the user controller. And instead of injecting this request object, I'm going to again um, inject this create, uh, create user form. But in this case, I'm going to use the validate attribute. And then we can simply do data equals form validated. Let's see if that works. Let's hit refresh. Um, let's fill in some data. Let's leave out the terms checkbox. And yeah, that still works. So now we have one single place in our backend where we can define the form and the rules. We can use that form object to generate the form in the front end, and we can use it to validate any incoming data. So that's really clean. Uh, this library is going to come with lots of form components. I'm going to work on it a few more weeks, so make sure to follow me on Twitter, X, uh, Blue Sky, wherever you want, uh, and I'll let you know when it's finished. All right, see you next time.